does causing violence. Peaceful protesters still continue with their demonstration in some parts of the state, like in Lekki. And in spite of the fact that the Lagos State government imposed a curfew in order to check the rising cases of violence, some protesters have defied the curfew and are still pressing for their demands, while some people who went to work or their businesses are stranded and are trekking home. Now, I have um, one of the protesters with me. Um, there was a curfew that was announced earlier today. So why are you still outside by this time? We are aware of that. And because of our demand from the government, we are not backing down. We will go ahead with the protest despite their curfew. Only we will remain in the domain according to them. Because we are not going out of, our, of their ways. Because they are, we are still under them. Everybody are shouting, Elsas, Elsas. Now the SARS have already ended now. They have already given them bad now. So what we need now is accommodation in Nigeria. Shortly after my interaction with a few of the protesters, things took a scary and deadly turn. <laughs> A series of gunshots by security operations rained and the ambience of the peaceful demonstration turned frightful, with protesters refusing to back down. My cameraman and I were caught up in the shooting and I must say it was a horrendous experience. How we escaped the scene was a miracle. Returning to the office was another challenge, as protesters refused to reconsider their stand and go home. Men of the Nigerian police, on the other hand, were all around to ensure the curfew is at head soon. In Lagos, Jennifer Igwe, NTA News.